What's up guys? I'm going to be showing you how to integrate Machine within your Logic Pro X app to use Machine as the VST and also um, how to drag and drop MIDI sounds from Machine into your Logic Pro X um, project and this is a great um, it's a great partnership between Machine and Logic because Logic has great sounds and effects offer. Machine um, has the same, the best sounds and yeah, so I'm just going to show you how to do this. Okay, so right now I have an empty project. And I went to the create um, option and it's this plus sign. And uh, I want to lead you guys to click the software instrument. All right. So the instrument you want to click is AU Instruments. And you want to go to Native Instruments. And then you want to see Machine Tool. You'll also see your other Native Instrument um, libraries here. I'm going to click Machine 2 and go to Stereo. Create. So, these are all of my projects I made within Logic Pro X through Machine. All right, so I'm going to click that blue option there. And then you're going to see the machine software. All right, so there's a few things you need to know. All right, so when you are creating, you need to know that you're going to change your um, BPM, the tempo, through Logic Pro X. You cannot change it right here. All right. Um, also, if you have your loop set to four bars, you need to, so if you have your pattern set to four bars here, you need to set it to four bars here. If you have it set to eight bars, you need to set it to eight bars here. All right, you can also change your pattern length by going to pattern length here, double clicking, and changing it. Let's see, I'll change to four. I'm gonna change this to four. All right. All right, so what I'm going to do is make a quick pattern first. You can draw in your notes if you don't have your beat machine. But I'm not going to draw in. I'm just going to make this really quick for you guys. I'm going to go to my drum kits. All right, and you can still preview all your sounds in here too as well. So you want to make sure you have this on is lit up. Because if it's not, we want to preview them for you. All right. I mean, not this. I mean, you want to make sure you have this clicked on. So if you don't, it won't preview. Them. All right. So you want to make sure it's turned on. And if you have it turned up this loud, the preview and sounds will be loud. If you have it turned low. Be lower. I like to keep mine just all right. I'm gonna load that in there. I'm gonna go to snare. Me a hi hat. All right, so I'm going to record, and you want to make sure the record is on, the record button is on within your app, and also here. Alright. I'm 
just wear some high hats real quick. All right, um, I'm going to just do some keys really fast. All right, so one at a time. Alright, so I'm going to show you. So, I really want to use some of Logic's alchemy sounds, okay, for the piano. So, I'm going to go to this option and I'm going to go to software instruments and I'm going to go to alchemy stereo create. Alright, so what I'm going to do now. Is I'm going to drag my MIDI into Logic. All right, and I'm going to load it up into Alchemy Sound Bank, basically. So this is our MIDI option, okay? These lines. So what you want to do is drag it, put it right there. Now I'm putting Don't Import Tempo because it throws it off. All right. So I'm going to mute this. All right, and then it's gonna play. All right, so I'm gonna go to Alchemy, and I'm gonna go to Browse, and I'm gonna go to, maybe I wanna put some guitars, so I leave guitar. Do some pads. Yeah, just try to play around and find some uh, sounds you like, okay? So you can do it with any of them. You can load a retro synth if you want. All right. Another great thing you can do is... um. You can load up the kick sounds and drum sounds as wave patterns. All right. So what you want to do is, so say you want to make sure you only have one sound at a time unmuted because it will drag in all of the other sounds within that sound and they won't be separated. So 
and drag in this wave file that start kick all right i'm going to delete that i'll meet the snare Boom. all right and then i'm going to move in behind all right and then i'm going to meet that and then i'm going to meet that here kind of cool um another thing i want to show you you can load you can drag these in as midi files as well so all right let's see something All right, so even though I muted these, it dragged them all in as MIDI files. Okay. So I'm gonna show you something cool if you want to use some of Logic's drum sounds. All right, so what you wanna do is, so this is our kick, you know it's gonna kick. All right, so. I want to go to right. and then you go there, drum machine. So keep it pimping, baby. We want drum machine designer. And I'm going to drag these down to where it says the kick is. Drum machine designer here. Can you go there? I'm gonna go to the trap door. All right, so I'm gonna press E to edit. All right, and then I'm gonna highlight them all. I'm gonna drag them to the snare. All right, I'm gonna to go to Drum Machine Designer here. All right, so yeah, that's what you want to do. Another cool thing is this is great for composition, song composition, having a logic um, integrated with machine. All right, so so. Sold. Closed. All right. And then right there. And then yeah, go right there. And then boom. Mm -hmm. 
You click here, arrangement, intro, click that again, verse. That's it. Hope this helps somebody.